Item number SCP-6888 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-6888 is to be kept in a 15 meter ice locker at Site 07. No further containment procedures are necessary at this time. Description SCP-6888 collectively designates a group of 25 human corpses exhibiting no signs of decomposition or decay at the cellular level. In addition to this effect, instances do not experience many other phenomena typically associated with death, including but not limited to decreases in body temperature, skin discoloration, and production of fertilizer. Every instance of SCP-6888 currently in containment is physically and genetically identical to a statesman, world leader, cultural figure, or other similar individual who had died in the decades prior to the object's discovery. As exhumation has revealed that the cadavers of these persons remain in their original places of burial, there is currently no cohesive explanation for their similarities to SCP-6888. Discovery SCP-6888 was discovered on August 12th, 1984, in Svalbard, Norway, beneath an abandoned structure believed to have served as a mausoleum for the objects at some point in the past. The building had fallen into disrepair before being acquired by Foundation operatives, and was entirely collapsed in certain sections, impeding SCP-6888 retrieval. The interior of the structure was divided into 26 burial chambers, each corresponding. Note, with the exception of Chamber 26, see Discovery Log for further details. To an instance of SCP-6888, which were removed over the course of the next several hours and taken to Site 7 for examination. Below is an abridged list of notable SCP-6888 instances recovered, along with the descriptions of the chambers in which they were stored. Description of SCP-6888 Instance Description of Chamber Notes Instance resembles Former Japanese Emperor Meiji, subject is dressed in traditional regal garb and was clasping a rusted golden sword at the time of recovery. The walls of the chamber are decorated with a series of brightly colored woodblock prints depicting various societal and military achievements attained under Meiji's reign. Notable examples include the proclamation of the 1889 Constitution of Japan, the first session of the Imperial Diet, workers constructing telegraph lines, and Japanese warships bombarding Russian forces during the siege of Port Arthur. Instance was found situated in an ornate limestone sarcophagus with the words lie and wait engraved at the base of the tomb in country characters. Instance resembles Serbian-American engineer Nikola Tesla, Room is sparsely furnished. The floor is overly cluttered with notes on a variety of unfinished mechanical devices, with a particular fixation on the creation of automatons and the concept of artificial intelligence. No burial rituals performed. Subject was discovered chained to a plain metal folding chair, with the words, not yet, engraved repeatedly onto the object's seat and manchette. Instance resembles former Australian Prime Minister Howard Holt, dressed in a light blue swimsuit. Chamber contains a large number of political paraphernalia for Holt's 1966 Liberal Party leadership campaign and the subsequent Australian federal election. The room also boasts a large number of spearfishing equipment, swimming supplies, and taxidermy of marine wildlife. Subject is currently being investigated for possible ties to SCP-3477. Instance resembles Turkish statesman Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, dressed in a black launch suit. Chamber appears to have been an exact replica of Ataturk's 
personal quarters at the Mabanche Palace in Istanbul, Turkey. Large portions of the chamber are charred or collapsed. This is believed to be due to a fire, beginning with a large pile of incinerated kilim fabric in the northwest corner of the room. Not applicable. Chamber resembles the green room of the United States Executive Mansion. The chamber is filled to the rim with numerous materials from a variety of highly specific 19th century United States national elections, including the 1856 and 1848 United States presidential election, the 1852 Wake National Convention, and the 1856 Know Nothing Party Nominating Convention. A single open casket lies in the center of the chamber. DNA testing of skin cells left on the reciprocal's padding has been identified as belonging to American soap opera star Alec Baldwin. The implications of this are unclear.